Thanks. The international community is responding with anger and dismay to Trump's decision to pull out of the Paris Accord. Mel? Yeah, a whole lot of reaction, Adam. Justin Trudeau joining the chorus of world leaders expressing their disappointment with Trump's controversial decision. The United States will withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord Thank you. But begin negotiations to re-enter either the Paris Accord or in really entirely new transaction on terms that are fair to the United States, its businesses, its workers, its people, its taxpayers. Donald Trump making the announcement from the White House Rose Garden. The president claiming the deal would cause America to lose jobs, undermine the U.S. economy, and weaken national sovereignty. Trump said he is open to renegotiating a deal. However, major European leaders say the agreement will not be renegotiated. Canadian environmental Environment Minister Catherine McKenna is reiterating Ottawa's commitment to the accord. And in a rare statement in English, French President Emmanuel Macron had tough words for Trump. Wherever we are, we all share the same responsibility. Make our planet great again. Canada is deeply disappointed with the U.S. position. The Paris Agreement is a good deal for Canada, and it's a good deal for the world. It will create good jobs. The clean growth economy is where the world is going, and Canada is going to be part of it. It is also important that we remember that this is about leaving a more sustainable future for our kids. McKenna also adding that Canada will host a ministerial summit in September with members from China and the European Union to talk about how to advance the Paris Accord. Tech leader Elon Musk and Disney CEO Bob Iger have both left White House advisory boards over this controversial decision. Well, two more TTC workers have failed random drug tests while on the job, including a manager. The random tests at the TTC were implemented less than four weeks ago, but already four employees have tested positive. The first two on the first day. None of them have been drivers. The TTC says three were for drugs, one due to alcohol, but they have not released any information on disciplinary action. The transit union continues to oppose the testing, but has not advised their members to refuse to take the tests. Well, parents and caregivers, if you are raising babies or preschoolers, this next story is for you. Experts are urging that kids should have a hard limit on how much screen time they're allowed to have every day. The Canadian Pediatric Society is calling on doctors to order adults to significantly curb time spent on front, in front of tablets, phones, computers and televisions, especially for kids under five in favor of more active play and family time. So the advice is no screen time at all for babies and toddlers under the age of two. Only one hour a day for children between two to five. Uh, they also recommend devices be banned during family time. This includes adults as well. And TV in the background should be turned off. Finally, if kids are watching content, it should be with a parent. It's a tough reality, but not to worry. We've got an expert from today's parent. She'll be joining us a little bit later on in the show with tips about how to make going screen free a smooth transition. Well, a 12 year old girl from Fresno, California, crowned the champion at the Scripps National Spelling Bee last night, and this was the winning moment. Mara Kane. She looked confident initially. Mara Kane. She knows what it means. A R O C A I N. Mara that is correct. Congratulations. On Ananya, Ananya Vinay pulling off the win after correctly spelling the word Maricane, which, by the way, I had to Google. It means a dress fabric made of silk or wool. The sixth grader cashed in on a $40,000 grand prize after beating out competitors in a 25-word spelling bee that took 12 hours to complete. The annual competition involves more than 11 million youth from the U.S., as well as several countries from Jamaica to Japan. It's in its 90th year.